getting my life back. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Good morning. Excuse my hair, but don't excuse this because, come on, how do you wake up? Do you wake up with, with perfect hair? I don't think so. Can't speak because I'm still not 100% back. There we go. Okay. <laughs> so I'm still not 100% 100 back as myself, as my unapologetic, free to say whatever I want kind of self, but getting there, getting there, and that's exactly how I felt though, how you, what you just saw, because, uh, or this way, because I was like vlogging just now and I was thinking about my plan for today and for the first time in probably the past two years, I actually have a plan for YouTube. Seems like the life coaching thing is actually starting to pay off. I just sent her my first message of like, hey, do you have a few minutes today? Because she said, like, call me during the week, you know, I'm your coach. And so I, I finally, I made my first during the week kind of message. Um, if she has a few minutes later, honestly doing that made me feel in control of my path in control of my life in control of my game plan and it made me feel so great and so that's that's the result that had me going um can't really do it long because my stepfather is in a meeting next door and in my little brother's bedroom <laughs> hashtag working from home can't believe i did that i also was outlining so i i, I personally vlogged it's like my video journal i think we all need some privacy even if that same stuff ends up being on here i still need to have that private moment with myself with my own thoughts you know but i was going and outlining today it just made me feel so good and so ready to go and so motivated and so pumped up oh, it just feels like i'm i'm like pretty much on back so what am i going to do today go to the bathroom, brush this hair, wash this face, my teeth, etc. Eat breakfast. I don't know why I do that. Eat breakfast. Come back, make a plan for today. Make a schedule. Write my schedule down for today. Schedule my meeting with my life coach and what I need to talk to her about. There are like three little things. They're really like two comments and one question kind of. There's like nine things or I actually reached ten, but I need to remember them. Edit, edit, edit possibly another edit. I don't, I don't, I'm not sure if I have three or four edits to do. I forget how many days I haven't edited. And then also post, post, post. So I guess that's six. I'm gonna have 11. Well, maybe I won't because I don't remember the rest of the stuff. Okay, <sighs> channel it. So bathroom, breakfast, schedule. Oh yeah, I remember now. Edit, 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 post, post, post. Work on my belief plan. I created my own personal belief plan for my life as well so that's something else but work on my youtube belief plan my plan for youtube which is different because my plan for youtube is more like how am i going to share this how am i going to promote this how am i going to i'm so excited about this because i want to keep my very long messages however long they are sometimes they're 15 minutes sometimes they're 30 sometimes they're like an hour in a world where hour-long content on youtube is not that unusual all the podcasts blah 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 blah. even though this is not a podcast but in a in a world where that is i still want to keep that however i understand that people don't always not everyone is going to watch 40 some minutes now it's i feel like an inside joke 46 minutes but they're not gonna watch that long of a video there are things that i can put out there that are three minutes five minutes or ten minutes long it actually makes me excited to have both of those contents it can be like anything from a very short summary of what i go into in my long form or it can be like a three minute dance routine or it can be parody or a rant a five minute ten minute rant a sketch it can be whatever so that i want to do that and i want to think what that can look like and what that and what are more options than just those three or however many i outline and then number 10 vision board so i don't know what i lost there i feel like i lost one but vision board which goes with my youtube vision board maybe i won't get to all of these today it is a challenge and i like challenges to it like that you know condensing things into a day like makes me motivated also knowing that i can do it tomorrow relaxes my perfectionist self i give 
myself permission to work as much as I can on all of these things today but also I give myself permission to relax to possibly have it spill into tomorrow not too much but I give myself permission a little bit I'm excited also if you're watching this I actually had both but this is um, the other one I took there because I use that one this one I don't use that sounds weird i don't use because molded it was old i guess I yeah it expired in 2019 october 2019 that's why it's kind of creepy not attractive but that's okay anyways so having that outline and looking forward to making an outline and actually doing the things i'm so excited i just feel so good being able to have my life back going to work blah 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 should feel that way but it doesn't it feels good to have money coming in but it doesn't feel good to not have that game plan and that control over the game plan and i don't know how to describe it but it doesn't matter anyways all right already talked about 10 minutes <sighs> have a wonderful day i'll talk to you later bye i have not made my bed <laughs> oh my gosh oh my gosh i've been sitting on the floor over here over here editing for the past i want to say three hours now i'm saving and i'm not sure if like there's some updates to imovie to make it more cpu need more cpu memory usage whatever but it's so slow and it freezes and it's never done that before so after this i'm gonna see what i do as far as my iphone backup because that's occupying most of it i'm going to go eat lunch i have not eaten lunch because i woke up at 11. <laughs> or 8 at 11. I want to do some other things, some planning and things, prepare for like around 6.30. I'm meeting with, with my life coach. It's a lot of thinking too, a lot of thinking. A lot of thinking. Let's keep, bye. Hello. Ay, 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 ay. The sun is gonna, it's gonna be tough should go on the other side shouldn't i i was thinking that the sun will actually be an asset but right now it's not an asset at all well look at that i like that view with the oh look at it look at it i put way too much makeup on because i was in a rush last minute rush kind of thing i don't have too much for you which might make you happy i shouldn't come in that close because i'm i'm so black thick with oh my gosh i can't i can't talk today oh no i'm just very embarrassed right now but Okay, so focus arena. My mom's actually playing more soccer than basketball with the basketball. What I mentioned yesterday was that I was going to do a little review of my past four years or so. And that is supposed to kind of kickstart, or not kickstart, but just make me feel just to see how much I have accomplished i guess throughout the the this past these past years and since then i just kind of got annoyed about something just with pine tree but that just always kind of leads to self-reflection about life and I'm, I'm gonna get into something about that but so four years in review it's gonna be really fast 2014 okay it's more than four years but 2014 i went to the uk in 2014 i sort of like grab life and i'm gonna live it kind of attitude I failed. <laughs> I had to come back. And I always wondered, did I not find a way truly to stay there and do that? Did I come back because subconsciously I wanted to come back? Or did I come back because I had really no choice? I don't know. I think I could find that out, but I don't know how useful that is at this moment. Was there for film school from like August to November, beginning of November? It was a really amazing time. I came back here with such a different perspective such a different me that I ever thought that I was it really proved to me that I am not who I think I am I'm not the person who's always late I'm not the person who is anxious I'm not the person who doesn't know what she's talking about or has nothing to contribute etc etc it was really really cool to come back with that attitude being early everywhere I remember I had so much more time in a day than ever 
but it didn't last too long. By like, January, February 2015, I was very stressed. I think I was mainly stressed because I didn't want to do a regular job. I think my first extra role was interesting, but it was just the oddest experience. At like 6 a.m. in January or February or March or something, we met in this parking lot and these white vans were coming up and we were getting in them. I'm like, this is, does anyone notice the irony right now? So it was kind of a very uncomfortable experience. That was 2015. It was a lot of struggle. I wanted to do film. I wanted to follow my path, but I just couldn't find a way. 2016 came along with YouTube. At the end of 2015, I met this guy at this wedding. Oh yeah, there was the wedding in 2015. Just because I don't use the yoga mat doesn't mean that it's not always in my head, playing in my head. I should do yoga. I should focus on myself there, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. He was really nice about that. Anyways, at the around my birthday, a little bit after my birthday, we met this guy that I had met Actually, not that long ago, probably, I don't know. He came in randomly to my store. He was cute, he was always cute. I thought that he was a good guy. I can't really speak on his goodness, but he was definitely not mature. 2015, at the end of 2015, I had just turned 30, yeah. And I think a lot about that when I think of Pine Tree. And I always forget that he's four years younger than me and he's now just turned 30. I think back at that time often because because yeah, when I turned 30, I did not want love. I just wanted a relationship. I just wanted to have fun. I just wanted to have like, just a relationship that wasn't going anywhere. I didn't want a serious long-term, let's get married in the future relationship. I just wanted to experience like going out and dating and, but in a relationship setting, cause I'm a monogamous person, monogamous, yeah. So that's where this guy came along and I'm like, okay, cool. And he was saying good morning every night, every, every night, every morning, look at that, look at that filmmaking right there yeah doing all these cute little things and blah 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 after his work he was coming to see me at the store we would like walk around the mall i think hold hands i remember holding hands with him did not feel good felt kind of yucky and i liked i mean he was he was cute and i liked him but I know I knew that I didn't love him and I knew that he was just a fling in a way but yeah I remember that and I remember the one night that we kind of cuddled on his couch cuddling shouldn't feel so weird and like we were not fitting at all anyways so that was 2015 end of 2015 into 2013 16. Did he break up with me? Yeah, he broke up with me. It was really weird. There were some tears, but I really don't think they were honest tears. And I think that definitely screwed up with my head. A lot of guys have played with my head. And I'm not the only one. I'm not saying that that's unique. It's just kind of, it's not my responsibility how you treat me, you know? So beginning of 2016, I mean, we sort of were together, but then the moment that we were like public, he like all of a sudden wanted to break up and he was talking about how he wants two kids. And I was talking about how like, I don't really know if I want kids. Like, oh my gosh, I'm sorry. I'm just like the irony. Okay, anyways, <laughs> so funny. Anyways, and then his one friend liked me. They both kind of wanted to push me to the, towards that guy. There was another mutual friend that we had. And all of a sudden, they just started talking about how I'm the one who wants kids and that I should go find someone who's ready to get married and have kids, give me kids. And I'm like, give me kids? Like, first of all, that's no. And then second of all, it was just so funny how things got twisted around about me. I don't really want to talk too much about this because it happens more than you think apparently, but like I will own up that before that age, before that moment, I wanted to have kids and I'll own up that I wanted serious relationships, but at that time I didn't. I honestly just wanted to have fun because he was so much younger. He was 22 or 23 or something. Yeah, it's possible, but I really didn't see him as marriage potential or material. And I said, let's grab a coffee. Let's grab tea because I don't drink coffee. Let's grab tea because I wanted to kind of address, hey, I don't like you that way. But but then he said something, how about dinner? And I'm like, okay, fine. That's when my food issues started that night when we went out to dinner because it was kind of traumatic for me to, I just felt really 
bad telling someone, having to say to someone, bringing them out to just tell them that, hey, I'm not interested in you. Everything was out of my hands. Everyone was talking about me. Everyone was telling me how I feel, how I am, who I am. And they were saying false things, organizing my life for me. Like they just kind of thought if that guy wasn't with me, I'll be with this guy. And I'm, I, it was just, I can't even describe that feeling. It was just, I went into this whole year plus of not being able to eat almost anything more and more and more it didn't happen like right away but all of a sudden i had developed all these like sensitivities allergies reactions to food but anyways that was 2016 i also started youtube at that time because everyone was talking for me and so i decided i was on snapchat and i just was i need my voice to be heard i cannot let other people especially little boys talk about me as if they know me tell me who who I am or tell the world who I am they don't even know who I am that's how YouTube started and I accomplished so much in YouTube I did reviews I did well one or two reviews I did a collab or two I did 253 plus vlogs I did rants I did parodies about two or three an actual song it was about that guy but the song is really gorgeous I love it I'm keeping it a workout well I was doing I was just following instructions I did dance I did film review. Yeah, I did a lot. That was like 2016 and 17. Then in 2000, oh, and I did Fast 8, Fast and the Furious 8. I did that and met so many people and I came out of my shell in such a different way. Also realized I need some downtime to recover. Lunchtime for me was I don't want to see anyone. Let me eat in peace and then I'll come back and let's have fun. But that was also, I met someone on the crew and kind of got way into I did not really, I should have seen that coming, but I've told you before, it's easier said than done. I don't know what you mean by, I should have seen that coming, but I've told you before, it's <laughs> easier said than done. Not you, Siri, not you. That was a whole bunch of mess. And once again, I felt, I mean, that just added on top, because that was towards the beginning of 2016, that just added on top of people thinking they know me and speaking for me or judging me without having any clue who I am. And really just fueled, I need to speak for myself because that way no one, just because I say something doesn't mean that people will believe it or, or hear it even, but at least it's out there and I feel better that I have said it because I am quite shy and I don't really speak too much. I always kind of let people talk about me. It's not really going high at that point when you're just afraid. If you're really like, oh, I'm not going to bother with that. Sure, that's going high when they go low, but not in my case. My case was I was just a coward. I guess 2016, the beginning of 2016 was people speaking for me, people thinking they have any idea who I am, finding myself in situations that I didn't want to get into, that I didn't think of getting into, but also also the end of that I guess 2017 was coming out of that into a whole new life Thanksgiving 2016 I said okay I throw my hands up in the air I had a really good guidance in one of my professors from my MBA and BA and he kind of taught me to let go and just let go into life stop fighting it because if you fight it it fights back but if you let go it lets go that's what I did it let go I began being able to eat more and more things that I used to eat kind of started getting my life back in a way that I had never had it before too because I started going to this acting school in March 2017. I just decided, you know what, I'm going to do this. I had known about the school for a while. I had had a bad experience at the talent agency where I found out about the school. But then I thought, you know what, I'll just, I'll just check it out. And it's, I really am sure that I need to get on this path. And what better way, what better time than now? How long will I keep waiting, you know? And so that's what I did. I went and I kept making excuses before, like, I don't know the neighborhood. It might be a bad neighborhood. I'm tired when I get off at 4.30 off of work. How am I going to stay up late until like 9.30 when the class would end or 10? I would get home. Like how, 
with my food? How am I going to do that, etc., cetera, etc.? Cetera. Also, in, in the meantime, since I can't, came back from the UK, I did the 48-hour film projects every year in the summer. It was a really cool experience. The moment that I went in there it was a Saturday class that I first did. Really did not appreciate all the swear words, and everyone was so angry. I'm like, why does everyone have to be angry? But what I appreciated was the process was going to bring me out of my shell, help me be authentically myself on the outside as well and be more vocal and more expressive and be in touch with my feelings what do I actually feel etc etc so, so 2017 was also the year that I had my real first 48 team I had found some classmates at the school who wanted to do this and embark on this closer to professional level type of team I also developed a crush on one of the team members and I said this you know in the, the video that I did it just now but it wasn't because he was nice to me it was more so because I was able to be myself with him and that's because I didn't really care I saw him since we actually worked on another film together um, a year ago I think a little bit more than a year ago he doesn't really take it seriously and he like throws it back at you and it's just this really weird comfortable and you don't have to walk on eggshells you know that they're not gonna take it as an insult because really like I wouldn't passively aggressively insult Salt him. I really would just like say stuff. In the viewer thing, I look like I'm in a photo shoot, but I'm sure when I get in there and edit it close up, it's not gonna look that good. But anyways, we just like it was easy for us to talk. It wasn't as easy as with Pine Tree, but it was it was nice. He was okay. He was cool. He, but that's like what I liked about it. It was nothing more than that. But I confused that with liking him. Does that make sense? I had a crush on him because I didn't actually have real feelings for him. I know that probably sounds really weird, but that's the best way I can describe it at this moment. That led into a lot. I mean, that whole year was a lot because my dog also died. At the, towards the end of the year. I went through so much at the, through the acting process, discovery and just emotions pulling and just, it was a lot. I met an amazing, amazing, amazing acting teacher that unfortunately wasn't there at the school for too long, but he was like a true, I care about my students teacher, like really, and you felt it and he was supporting you and he was there for you and he really thought about you and thought about how to customize his plan to your to you what you need not just like a cookie cutter plan it was just so amazing but some people complained because they were just kind of very narrow-minded but that was uh 2017 at the very end of 2017 Pine Tree came along and I did not want to work with him but then I ended up working with him and it went pretty fast I guess but I was just I wish I was in a much better space than I was at that time when we met but he also wasn't in the best space either when we met like I said in this other vlog we're still talking we're still friends we're still whatever we are we're still us this morning I was mad because I don't like defining things by label because when you say something is let's say you know a romantic relationship oh this is my girlfriend this is my boyfriend this is my husband this is my wife etc etc yeah those are great and good I'm not I'm not putting down labels but I'm just saying when you're saying this is my girlfriend and that's not in your heart it's nothing different than not saying that they're your girlfriend and when you say that they're just your friend but they're in your heart as more it's not any different than saying that they are your girlfriend you know like the labels don't really matter it's how you treat each other how you care about each other and what they mean to you what each other means to you i find it difficult to define at any time we just are like from the very beginning we just were we just were all us. I, I talked about it in the other one it just was so felt so just effortless at the beginning and it just spooked us but that was 2017 2018 well 2018 was mainly about him and about directing the 48 i guess and those kind of film projects with him and other another classmate that was 2018 it wasn't a lot i guess but yes i mean we also broke up officially but then we didn't but we did it was a lot of a lot a lot the focus was i guess definitely more on him and from that we sort of 
stop being on our path. It was, I keep thinking about that, how ironic it is. And when I think about that, I take back my fears about him because we really, we were set on our paths and we were great. And when we met, we were on our paths and we were great. We don't work so well when we're off our paths, our individual paths, even though we help each other so much. I think if we really would sit down and look at the past two years, we've helped each other so much in life. It's really beautiful. I'm going to start crying again. Moving on. That was 2018. It was a hard year, but it wasn't as hard as 2019. 2019, it started off completely unpredictable. I did not expect. I had just kind of made peace to work on myself, to work on my friendships. And he came off the left field or whatever you say, put so much effort into us. And I was not ready for that. So I screwed that up, but he also did. We both screw it up. We're equal. There's no one's more to blame than the other. It really takes two with us. So it started off really beautiful, unexpectedly beautiful. Like I did not expect any of that after the first quarter of the year around may it got bad it got bad last year seems like a very long year also i spent some time in around august with my dad and my siblings from romania that was like really cool and really rejuvenating and it brought me back just a kind of a little bit my process to coming back to being me and to life because that may june july i was dead I was just so dark. I felt so dark. I felt so... 2019 felt like a transition that was just like pulling a wisdom tooth that is in there sideways, you know, I, I, as I can imagine. Like it's just, it was not coming out. It, the transition wasn't being made and it was very, 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 very painful. And we kind of lost each other as well through that. We're like there and he was there for me until like it just was, it was rough. That that's what I would describe 2019. It was a pause and a change, a transition. 2020, I don't know what it is. Still, in 2019, what I accomplished was I went back to do the 48-hour film project by myself. My heart breaks that I did that to him. I didn't do it to him though. It started off with thinking like how are we going to work together in this state that I'm in and then it quickly it was just a catalyst to thinking he wasn't actually the problem that I was trying to run away from. It was our other classmate because I felt just very stifled, very limited, put in a box and bordered up and not being able to just roam free. We're very different, very different as far as style style maybe but also technique and what we want and etc so I would have continued to do the project but it was really about this other classmate and I clashing so badly where I felt like what why would I put myself through any of this I'm just basically there just to help out but I have my own visions and I have so much to give. I feel it in me and I want it and I want it back. I used to do that. It was the 48s were my time to be the leader for a change where everywhere in my life I was the follower in relationships and family in life and workplace, etc. I was the one who was like, okay, and not doing whatever other people wanted me to do, even if I just was screaming inside that's wrong or, you know, it wasn't the best idea or whatever. I would just go along with it. So the 48 was my place and I had made that decision the prior year in 2018 to step back let other people lead and not be the boss you know for 2018 but then in 2019 I was like cool that was a interesting year I learned a lot now it's back to take it back and I just I feel bad of how I handled that to him I, I feel like I totally betrayed him honestly I, I think that I did I mean I I'm I'm so sorry about that. That was not my intention. It was just so, such a hard decision and I was wrestling with it. It was not that long, but that whole week. <laughs> and I know that doesn't seem like a long time or anything, but it was, it was very hard. It was a very hard decision and I didn't know how to handle it better. I wasn't that much, much more mature, you know, but it reminded me how good it feels to be positive and be surrounded by positive people and people who don't limit you and who don't put limits on themselves. People who are visionaries or are with you too, if you're the visionary and believe in you and just 
just are optimistic and think big and just are willing to go for the ride and want to change the world or just like want to like do better and better and better each time. I try putting on this sort of charity event, total failure, except that my one friend and him and Pine Tree came along. It was actually a nice night. It was a very cute night for us. Really like, again, unexpected. Did the walk out of the darkness walk finally and waited about 12 years in memory of my cousin. Even though it didn't go as planned, it was still kind of cool to do. It was it was great. And then the previous day, Pine Tree again surprised me and it's just, yeah. Well, yeah. 2020. 2010, 20 just started. It started very odd, very weird. But I really, what I would hope this year would be. It would be the year where I get to start living my life. I did this, I went in this review to point out to myself that I have been living my life. My life coach is one of the first things she said. She's like, you have been living your life. You have done so much already. And now that I go back through it, like, yeah, I have. But what I'm really talking about, it's really being myself and shining as myself not choosing between people and me not choosing between the friends i have the, the relationships i have and being myself and that is the greatest challenge that i feel like i have faced ever so much easier to go out there and be yourself if you have no one and if you don't care who you lose what you lose it's so much harder to go out there and be yourself when you feel like you might lose friends, relationships, security as far as like financial security, job, etc. Also to have, because I live at home, to have your family just in your ear. I still have my job as far as I know, but I don't know actually. But I think even just the way that this is happening, taking, making the most of it and taking the best part of this situation with this virus and staying at home, I think if you're in that spot, you should do that. You should really consider to focus on yourself. Take this opportunity in the best way that you can. You really don't know how long you have. But you shouldn't be doing it because you're afraid that you don't have enough time in your life. You should be doing it because you see how much time you have left on this planet. And you don't want to waste it. You don't want to be miserable in it. You can be happy in that life in every single day. You can be, have, have joy. You can have joyful days all the time. To have something go wrong when you're on your path is very different than to have something go wrong when you're not on your path. I'll give you another example that you probably are annoyed at me at giving these examples, but in December, I had decided to text Pine Tree that I was excited to see him the following day when we had arranged to meet up. And I was previously talking to someone, friend, I thought, about how, like, I cannot text him that. He's like, why not? If that's how you feel. I'm like, no, because he'll, like, run away. <laughs> that's, that's weird. The idea being, why would someone run away from you liking them? Why would someone run away because you complimented them? You know, why would someone run away because you made them feel good? But in my head, honestly, that's how I've seen the world for as long as I remember. And then I ended up texting him, I'm so excited to see you tomorrow. And I was like, oh, great. You know, he's going to not want to see me tomorrow, the next day. I felt so good and I felt so at peace because even if that would be the case, at least I was authentically true to myself. It wasn't a bad thing. I wasn't insulting him. I <laughs> said something nice. After that, I just kind of slowly became more and more used to doing that instead of putting things down, putting myself down, putting him down, putting, you know, anything down. Because I do that to deflect from being nice to someone. Why would someone get mad at you for being nice to them? Uh, uh, I don't know, just that's how my mind works. I don't know, don't ask me. Like, what? I don't know. Why is the sky blue? We don't know. <laughs> really weird color. I put passion flower in this help with the stress supposedly but anyways how am i showing up how am i showing up for pine tree how am i showing up for myself how am i showing up for the world how am i showing up for you that is the question that i have been made in charge to ask myself how would i show up if i want the friendships that i want if i want the relationship that i want if i want the love that i want the career that i want my daily life to be the way that i want how would i show up to the world how would i show up to any of those that makes such a huge difference and fear fear it 
gets in my head so easily. One thing, my little 10 minute conversation with my life coach, one thing she said that stuck out, stuck out, stuck out, it's like staccato, no, stuck out, <laughs> was those are thoughts. I'm like, well, what if it's this? And she's like, that's a thought. And if you think that, you'll show up to that. You know, it's not the situation, it's the thought that you have with that situation which makes you feel a certain way, which makes you show up a certain way. I know I said that kind of example and it was, I kind of dropped it, but to me, that's what it shows. Your temperature. Okay, just final thoughts. I'm not coming close, but I really want to. You know what, deal with my makeup-y face and whatever. And this camera also sort of blurs my face sometimes, so maybe I'll do that, I don't know. But you show up differently depending on your thoughts. If you believe that person does not want to see you, how do you show up? You show up like they don't want to see you. You show up already guilty or putting yourself down. You show up criticizing yourself. You don't show up in the best way that you are. You don't show up happy. I mean, it depends. Sometimes when people don't like me, I actually show up better. <laughs> but a lot of the times though, you show up with that expectation of them. Most of the time, I create stories rather than facts. That may have been true maybe it wasn't maybe it was as my therapist has asked me for such a long time why are you telling yourself that story you're telling that story because that you're gaining something from telling yourself that it's not because it's a fact did you see for a fact that's the story honestly over and over again the answer is because i'm afraid i'm afraid to be a fool i'm afraid to be made a fool i'm afraid to make the wrong choice i'm afraid to make a mistake i'm afraid i'm afraid i'm afraid you become your self-fulfilling prophecy at that point it's very hard especially i think after doing it for so long it's very hard to not do that the more you do it and especially if you do that with one person in particular for a very long time it's harder to tell fact from fiction more and more and i remember my one professor he would say something about how when we first meet people we get along great because they're a blank page for us we don't know their past we don't know how they act they're great as they are the more we know someone the less we like them for who they are but it's not that we don't like them for who they are it's that we become we have constant expectations and not the good ones but the bad ones are the ones that i think get to us you know expecting they'll fail expecting they'll treat us badly expecting they'll lie expecting this that that sometimes because they've done it sometimes because they haven't done it you're just afraid they might do it i've lived in both of those states can describe the taste to you but it's so refreshing i'm gonna leave you with that how do you show up and why actually my voice teacher i had a voice coach and i mean it's a good time now but because of my financial issue i can't really rely on on spending money right now every morning she wakes up and she's like how do i want to how do i want the world to see me today how do i want to show up in the world today it sounds great and i get excited about it but then i let it fall through because i focus on what is right now and how i feel about it right now and your temperature and I zoning out as well. I'm so tired. Anyways, so how do you show up and why? I'm gonna go. I'm gonna reflect on that. I have a lot of other things to do. Excuse me, I have three more vlogs to edit and then this one is another one. So four more vlogs to edit. I have to work on my YouTube vision plan. I'm excited about that. I wanna work on my week plan. I wanna work out, start working out and dance. My life plan and then my vision board. I won't get to those and finish those today, but hopefully I'll get to those today at least a little bit start on each one get on track and do some great things and starting today I realized that I have been talking so much about my past and that's not fun to hear and it makes me kind of stuck in it or it makes me sound stuck in it I think I I'm, I wouldn't say I'm stuck in it but I'm very reflective and so I think a lot about the past how it affects my present my future etc and to not make the same mistakes blah 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 just be better and better but i also realized talking about everything today having this review it's a good way to end thinking about the past and living in the past and being in the present and in the future the key to that is also having a future and visualizing a future and i have been lacking that so having a vision plan a vision board and a youtube plan and a life plan will help me create that vision and have it live in that more so than in the past i don't mean to live in the past but we haven't seen each other in a very long time so 
so I kind of feel like constantly that I have to catch you up on everything and I want to like share so much with you but it's also just kind of redundant 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 so starting tomorrow I am planning on going somewhere taking this car because my car is not working driving somewhere i'm not going in a store but maybe to a metro park or just seeing other cars just kind of getting out of the house because what i realized was that i think that the reason i am not wanting to go out is because of fear not because i'm tired or i like it before i become very agoraphobic and i'm gonna try to do that so hopefully i get to do that tomorrow but to do that i have to edit all of these so i'm going to go it's very hard for me to say goodbye oh so hard for me to say goodbye I just want to talk all like all the time just ask pine tree I just we uh, sometimes I just don't let him go to sleep <laughs> but anyways so have a wonderful day I'll talk to you later ask yourself how you show up why you show up the way that you do and how do you want to show up stay safe stay positive don't force yourself just find what you're missing if you aren't I guess I don't know the support watch Lily sing she's always like awesome to watch to like pick you up. Anyways, have a wonderful day. Peace, love, and compassion, y'all. 안녕, 기카세요. 안녕, 기카세요. 자, 이젠. Bye-bye. 백구름파. 마타네. 자네. 아스타로에.